I want everybody here to close your eyes. Think back to when you first joined Toastmasters. Where were you at in your life? What were you doing? Now open your eyes. Why did you join your club? <laughs> no, the reason why I had joined for, was for very selfish reasons, which is I had just gotten a promotion in my business, and I went to one of my mentors and I said, well, how do I take it to the next level? And he said, have you heard of Toastmasters? Your Toastmasters group most likely has a brand. There's a reason you joined that particular group. Why did you join your particular Toastmasters group? And just take a second to write down three words that come to your mind. Who here knows very specifically what their Toastmasters brand is? By a show of hands. Shauna. My main club is very professional. Okay. It meets in a professional setting. Great, awesome. Who here doesn't know their Toastmasters brand? Show them high, show them proud. <laughs> you don't know your club's Toastmasters brand. So today, hopefully, by doing these worksheets, you will be able to come away with at least the base level of what your Toastmasters group's brand is. I have just been voted president of EBP, which is, I know, I'm so excited. It's empowered business professionals. So our brand is very clear in our title. We're about empowerment and we're about business and being professional with both. Last season, the executive committee really focused on empowerment and they did such a fantastic job. So my platform, if you will, as president this year at EBP is to focus on the business part. So it's shifting it, but it's building this brand all together so that when anybody in our club goes out into the public, they know exactly what they're selling. And the people that come to our club know exactly what they're buying. So when you're doing these worksheets, it's really important to think really specifically about your club and then how you can apply it to your life is to think specifically about whatever project you're doing, whether it's a work project, whether you want to create your brand in your speaking career or your professional career. These are questions that you need to ask yourself. The next question, and I just want you guys to take a minute and write down the first three words that come to your mind really quick. What's unique about your club? It could be the members. It could be the support. It could be the way they run the meeting. It could be what their theme is, jot them down. Because then later on you can go, why is it that people think of Glenn when they think of EBP? What is it about him? What's Glenn's brand that we can then bring to the club and put out into the rest of the community? Does anybody want to share one answer that's unique about their club? <laughs> Gabriella. Leadership. Excellent. I love that. Woo! Anybody else? Motivating. Nice. Um, okay. Our members uh, are surprising because when you, your first impression of them is uh, almost uh, this frumpy group of people <laughs> that are very quiet. It's very, it's very uh, laid back. It's very Interesting. It's a, it's a platform to build off of. Just Absolutely. So figuring out the uniqueness is what we're going to talk about today and then, then letting you guys know how you can put it out into the world.